So these are the candles we made for Dad. We each have our own. I was so worried that they were not going to have the chance to tell him goodbye. Drew was out of town at a golf tournament to benefit Blair Batson Children's Hospital. He was out to dinner with customers and friends. He choked, went into cardiac arrest, and he never regained consciousness. And the neurology team at UMC declared him brain dead. So we had a choice to make, and UMC would not allow children. And I wanted the girls to have a chance to tell their dad bye. So Father Tommy actually recommended Asbury, and he said, we're gonna bring him to Hattiesburg. And he's like, that's, that's our plan. He's like, we're bringing him to Hattiesburg, and he's like, and the girls are gonna get a chance to see him. I like still remember like his scent. I was, sometimes I'll go back and like, I like smell one of his shirts and I can smell it. He was so nice and he was just so loving and funny. Having him at Asbury, having the opportunity to bring him somewhere like that felt like a second home made a huge difference. I never knew there was a place that gave you an option to take your loved one there. As soon as I walked in, the social worker hugged me. The nurses kept us up to date of everything going on with his care, and they were so kind. I was so overwhelmed at the time. I had three little girls seeing their dad that wasn't gonna live much longer and I didn't know what to do. And I'm glad that I had them that I could trust to make the right decisions. At Asbury, they let the girls be children. They got to sit on the ground and color. They hung signs on the wall. They even came on Halloween day in their costumes and the staff had candy for them to trick or treat. Because Asbury did, such a good job of making Halloween special for the girls. Halloween is still a fun holiday for us. We even had an incident where Vivi didn't understand the concept of heaven and she thought Drew was still in the room at Asbury. So we picked up cookies for the staff and we went up there and they showed her the room that he had been in. So it helped her understand the concept of heaven. And I'm just so thankful that Asbury gave them a place to say goodbye to their dad. Because Asbury gave us a place to bring Drew at the end of his life, he was able to pass away with all of us around him at what felt like a second home. If he would have passed away here, I don't think the girls and I would have wanted to stay in this home. And because of Asbury, we don't want to leave our home. If I saw the staff from Asbury today, I would just want to tell them thank you. Thank you for the amazing way you cared for my husband. Thank you for loving me and the girls. It didn't feel like a hospital, it felt like a home.